It's okay. Okay, so let me see, is there any question? Okay. So when we carry out spiralizing, okay, we tend to uh, produce a structure, okay? We tend to produce, okay, produce a, a structure in which Okay, in which are uh, all the cementite plates, okay, all the cementite uh, plates transform into small uh, spear, yeah, small spheroids. Okay, disperse throughout the H R O U G H throughout uh, the cementite okay. throughout the cementite matrix. Okay. So why do we carry out is to increase, okay? Why spherodization is carried out is to increase the uh, increase the crack resistance due to fatigue or cyclic loading. Okay. So when when we see the word cyclic loading it is basically dynamic loading. Okay. So non-steady state. Later on, I will draw. Okay. So what we what we are trying to do down here, I will sketch for you in terms of like microstructure. Okay. What 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 are we trying to do down here? Okay. So if this is our microstructure, okay. So this is our uh, green boundaries. Okay. Then what, what we have over here So the green line you see Okay, all these are your cementite Plates and the uncolored region, they are your uh, ferrite. Okay. So like this area down here, you see plates and uncolored, right? So this region is called perlite, right? So perlite is a combination of ferrite, which is the uncolored part, right? Like this part over here is uncolored. And then you see the line, those are your cementite plates. Then when you go through uh, spherodization, or spherodizing, right? So the microstructure now looks like this. 
So as as I wrote earlier, you don't see uh, plates anymore. Okay, no more plates. Okay, so what what you see are little spears, these spurs. And this is very important, especially uh, material use in shipbuilding. It is critical. That's why when, when you go for a cruise, there's only steel from a few countries that if the boat is made up of those countries, then I will, I, will, I will get on board. And these countries are either the steel is made on Sweden, Norway, or Japan, okay, because they're really good at this, okay. If the steel is made of the rest of the world, even Singapore, forget it. I won't get on board. This is where I'm from. So these are cementite spears. Okay. So that's what's happening uh, to the microstructure. Now, let me describe to you what do I mean by uh, cyclic loading and why I talk about ships, okay? Not bad, but whoo -hoo, those type of ships, you get what I mean, okay? Question for you guys, what is the difference between, uh, between uh, the UK and New Zealand? Any idea, anyone? What is the difference between the UK and New Zealand beside the location? What is the difference? Anyone? No? Anyone? Any idea? So in the UK, there are 50 million people, 3 million ships. Bad. In New Zealand, there are 50 million ships. Bad. And 3 million people. Okay. Where the... <laughs> Okay, so that's the and then every Sunday when they worship God, they'll say majesty. Okay, anyway, it's not very funny anymore. Anyway, let's get back to okay. So what do we mean by uh cyclic loading? So if this is time. And this is stress. Okay. If it goes straight line just like this, we call it static loading. So those of you in mechanical engineering, you, what you're learning in 2P04 is known as uh, static loading. Okay. The load did not the stress, okay, static loading, the stress did not change. In cyclic loading. Is where this occur. Okay, so this is what we call cyclic loading. And we only need to carry out sparodizing sization when we have uh, cyclic loading. Okay. So why, why, why do we have to do this? Okay, why do we have to do this when we, when we carry out our cyclic loading? So I'll, 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 I'll write out why, okay? And I will draw to you what is, what is going on, okay? So when uh, material, undergoes spiritization. Okay, when it goes spiritization, the crack path, okay, which I will draw, the crack path, I'll explain what's going on first. The crack path uh, needs to change Okay, it needs to change its direction more frequently. 
Okay, it needs to change the direction more frequently. Okay, so this will result. Okay, this will result uh, in the crack tip. Okay, this will result in the crack tip uh, losing energy. Okay, losing its energy whenever it uh, change direction. Okay, so let, let me elaborate what is going on. Guys, give me another five minutes, okay? I know you guys are tired also. I'm also a zombie now, okay? Give me five more minutes and we are done. And then you can have your beer. Or now you're having your beer is a good thing. So if this is a microstructure, all right, and what I'm drawing now in random, okay, these are my cementite plates. And as you can see, the if you have more than 0.6%, right, you have more cementite being formed. So if you have the what I'm going to draw is a a a a, a crack, a crack tip or a crack tip. So this is our crack tip. So when it hits a cementite plate, it has to change direction. Okay. Then it has to change direction. Whenever it changes its direction, it loses energy, for example. Okay, it changed direction, it changed direction, and then it goes through. So this is uh, one path, two, okay, and then you have three, four, five, six, and seven. It changes its direction seven times, right? So now if, if we have if we start to, uh, uh, if we have spelldization, when we spell dice our steel, now all these become spears. Okay, all these become spears. Okay, so now the crack can only crack along the the, the fair right. Okay, so it comes here. It comes here, it comes here, it goes here, it goes here, it comes here, it goes here, it bounces here, it comes here, it changes here. So now you see how many times it changes direction. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Right, so the more the more time it changes its direction, it loses its what? It loses its energy, right? It loses as, as you can see down here, okay? Right. Actually, it's much more, okay? Because all these are because of I I draw the dots are pretty big, okay? So what what you see now down there is the 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 the, the spiritualization. Okay, the spiritualization uh, can delay. Okay, can delay, or sometimes. Okay, sometimes it will prevent crack uh, growth. Okay, crack growth or propagation. Okay, so the word propagation is more commonly used in material science. Okay, so what I do, I still have one more heat treatment. I think you guys have enough of uh, blipping heat treatment. I will stop down here. Okay, if you have any question, I'll still be around to answer any 
of your question. If that's the case, I'd like to thank you for your time, for paying attention. Okay, no beer to Saturday, got midterm tomorrow. What midterms are you guys having? Anyone? We have a uh, 2D03. Uh, Why is 2D? Uh, 2D. 2D. Huh? Principles. 